Okay, so now we're gonna look at how fixed index annuities earn interest. We're also gonna break this down into three parts, so lock in. We have crediting methods and crediting rates and also the indices that you can track in combination to see what type of interest we can earn. So with crediting methods, we have what's called a point to point and we also have a monthly sum. Point to point is really what I explained earlier or in the other video. One point to the next point is either a one, two or three year reset period. That is how long or the length of time that you're tracking that index in that reset period. And the interest that is earned, if any, is locked in. Then you have the monthly sum. Now, we have more episodes on this channel that goes a little bit deeper into these features, but we suggest you subscribe first. So the monthly sum is often used in a high interest rate environment or also when you really, really want to track if the market is doing well. It's really the most aggressive crediting method when it comes to tracking inside of the fixed index annuity with the monthly cap as well. Now, I usually don't typically tell people to use the monthly sum method because it's very volatile in this environment. So now we talk about a very important concept, which is the rate of the offer, the crediting rate. For terminology, we have the participation rates. Your rate can either be capped or uncapped. Then you have something called a spread. Some companies refer to this as the index margin. So the participation rate is exactly what it sounds like. It tracks whatever you're participating in that index. Some indexes have more growth potential that are typically 100% equity. You may only have a 40 or 50% participation rate, but that means the index can grow even more. If your participation rate is 40 to 60%, you can still earn a good return. Other indexes have a four to 6% participation rate, which is a lot more on a consistent basis. In those indices, you can earn anywhere between 100 and 200% of what the actual index is offering. So understand that participation rate is how much you're participating in that index that you're tracking. Now, indices that are made up of all equities typically have lower participation rates but they can also perform a lot higher. Now, the indices that are designed to be more stable and more consistent, you have the opportunity to have a much, much higher participation rate. But they're all pretty much designed to earn anywhere between three to 6%. And again, the 100% principal protection. Now, when it comes to uncapped and capped, I'm learning that it is a lot of misinformation out there in the marketplace. If you read online on some places, you'll see that they're bashing annuities because of their caps. Yes, there are caps on some of the crediting methods and crediting rates when it comes to inside of the fixed index annuity. But on the other side, there's a lot of things that are uncapped as far as crediting rate, and crediting methods. So you do have no upside limitations when it comes to the uncapped vehicles. So we wanna focus our crediting methods and crediting rates inside the fixed index annuity on being uncapped. Now, when it comes to the spread, it's generally a reduction of earnings. It's not necessarily a fee. So if you earn 10% in your FIA, your fixed index annuity, and you have a 2% spread, that means you earn 8%. 10% minus 2% equals 8%. Now, if everything goes down and your fixed index annuity earns zero, the spread is not applied. You would not lose 2% in that example. You would just earn zero for that year. So this means spreads are not fees. There is simply a reduction of interest or reduction of rating in the interest when it comes to what you earn. There's simply a reduction of earnings when it comes to the base amount of the spread. Now, very important point here. Now, upon your one, two, three year reset period, you'll get a letter in the mail talking about how much interest you've earned on your account value. You're then going to be offered what's called a renewal rate based on the interest rate environment and how much volatility is actually in the market. Those are the primary drivers of what your renewal rate will be. So your participation rate will be adjusted a little bit upon your reset, your renewal rate. Now, if you were to choose a cap method, your renewal rate would change just a little bit. Also, if you had a spread, that may change a little bit as well. But if you had an uncapped strategy, it will remain uncapped. They're not gonna all of a sudden change it to cap. They simply just adjust the participation rate. So they may go up, they may go down, but they stay pretty close to what it was at issue. So if you had a 40% participation rate, it didn't go down to anywhere between 38 to maybe 35 but at the same time, it can go up to 45% participation. It's primarily determined on the interest rate environment and how much volatility is actually out there. Now, this is something we're gonna take a deeper dive in in another episode, but it's just important to know that on your reset, there will be a new renewal rate. 99% of the time, the renewal rate is very, very close 
to what you get at your contract issue rate. Now, the third thing that determines how much interest you've earned is the actual index that you're tracking. Now, everyone knows what the S&P 500 is, but there's another called the Zebra Edge. Now, most people are very unfamiliar with the Zebra Edge, but it's one of the best indexes in the fixed index annuity contract. Let's cover some new terminology here. We're gonna cover this one in another episode because there's a lot more to it. This one is called the S&P 500 low volatility, eight risk control. Let's not worry about what that means right now, but we will get back to it. The Zebra Edge, for example, has grown over 29% in the last five years. So this is a real world index that we can actually track inside of the fixed index annuity. Currently, the rates are anywhere between 100 to 150% participation, depending on what state you live in. But this is one of hundreds of indices you can track inside of the fixed index annuity. My name is Justin Smith. Stay tuned for the next episode. We'll see you soon. Peace.